Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on multiplying three brackets involving thirds. So we want to expand and simplify this expression. 3 plus root 5 times by root 5 minus 2 times by root 5 minus 1. Now there's nothing new in this video at all. Hopefully you already know how to expand three brackets and hopefully you already know how to multiply two brackets together involving thirds. So we just have to put the two skills together. So let's write what we have here. Now, when we expand three brackets, you have a choice. You can either do the first times the second bracket first, or the second times the third. You'll end up with the same answer either way. I'm just going to choose to do the second bracket times the third bracket, but it doesn't really make any difference, to be honest. So we're going to leave the first bracket as it is, and then we're going to multiply these two brackets together and put it in a single big bracket. So we do each thing in the first bracket times each thing in the second. So we do the root 5 times the root 5 and the root 5 times the minus 1. So root 5 times root 5 is just 5. Any third times by itself just gets rid of the square root. Root 5 times negative 1 is just minus 1 root 5 or just minus root 5. Then we've got the minus 2 multiplied by each of these things. So minus 2 times root 5 is minus 2 root 5 and minus 2 times minus 1 is positive 2. Negative times negative is positive. Let's tidy up that second bracket as we usually would if we were multiplying algebraic brackets together. 5 plus 2 is just 7 and then we collect the third terms together as well. So we've got minus 1 lot of root 5 minus 2 lots of root 5 is minus 3 lots of root 5. So now we just have a multiplication of two brackets which we have to expand. So let's deal with that now. We're going to do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So we're going to do the 3 times the 7 and the 3 times the minus 3 root 5. So 3 times 7 is 21 and 3 times minus 3 root 5. Well it's going to be negative for a start because positive times negative is negative. The 3 times the 3, if we multiply the non third things together, 3 times 3 is 9, and we've also got that root 5 there, so it's minus 9 root 5. And now we do the root 5 multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket, so the root 5 times the 7, and the root 5 times the minus 3 root 5. This is a bit harder. So the root 5 times 7 is just 7 root 5, so plus 7 root 5. The non third comes first, the 7. And then we're going to do root 5 times negative 3 root 5. Now, firstly, positive times negative is negative. And then let's see if we can do this in our heads. Root 5 times root 5 is just 5. And then multiplied by that 3, 5 times 3 is 15. So we get minus 15. And then we just need to collect non third terms, collect third terms. 21 minus 15 is 6. And negative 9 root 5 plus 7 lots of root 5 is negative 2 lots of root 5, so it's minus 2 root 5. And that is the final answer.